Linda Porter was the first of half a dozen people in the human abduction syndrome that I've interviewed who experienced being raised and lowered in a tube of light and passed through walls that felt like thousands of little feathers all over their bodies. Linda said the light tube is different from the tunnels that opened up inside of her bedroom, quote, the beam is used only to transfer people from earth to a craft and back. The tunnel is a physical created hole from one dimension to another. Traveling through the tunnel was what made me ill, had had something to do with change in physical density of two differing dimensions, close quote. Linda told me that in 1963, when she was 17 years old, she was abducted from her Covina, California home by gray colored beings with large eyes. These gray beings seem to be the extraterrestrial biological entities or EBENs that are described in leaked government documents as friendly and concerned about earth and human evolution. Or perhaps they are the emerthers referenced in Sergeant CJ's binary downloads. Linda Porter was shown a procedure to transfer the soul or life force from a dying man into a healthy, younger clone of a man. Linda could see in one of the cloning resurrection tubes. The gray being told Linda telepathically that the same soul transfer would be done with her. That gray being explained telepathically to Linda that she had rheumatic fever as a teenager that damaged her heart. The gray non-human said it was vital that Linda Porter's soul entity continue in the same genetic body container that she had been born with in order to accomplish an unknown alien agenda. Linda watched a golden yellow orange light rise out of the top of the dead man's spine and elongate in the air as it moved across the room to a row of body-sized tubes lighted from the top and from the bottom and filled with a strange purple-looking gas. Inside the tubes on the far right was a clone body of the same man, but about 10 years younger, Linda Porter said there was a problem about earth body containers, souls, other dimensions, and altered timelines. Linda said, quote, I was told that the resurrected cloned man would be relocated elsewhere, maybe Australia, and would continue on with his life, close quote. Linda thought that it was vital to the non-human entities that the man's soul continue functioning longer inside the same kind of container that his older sick body had been. Linda thought that one of the reasons that the non-humans take tissue samples from abductees when they are as young as four years old is to have this tissue in reserve in case a new body for the abductee to keep going in human life becomes necessary later on. Linda explained, quote, new bodies can be stored indefinitely. The containers in the sketch with the three people in the tubes are storage containers. The containers in both new sketches I sent you are activation containers. They have a light in the top that must be on the person for unknown amount of hours before a body can be activated, if a body has been in storage. If the body is newly made, it does not need light. In the sketch with the three people in the tubes, the body on the far right was the younger one given to the dying man. I got the impression, she said, the aliens do not like to do this soul transfer very often. Actually, I got the feeling the aliens are not supposed to be doing this at all but they seem to be backed into a corner and have no other recourse. They also seem to be trying to hide all of this from some higher form of life, whatever the authority is that prohibits this soul transfer 
also prohibits the ETs from interfering on this planet Earth. But the Greys are interfering. Whoever the authority is, is much higher evolved than they are. Linda Porter said there is much, much more to existence than we could ever begin to understand. Much of what we have been taught regarding the physical universe and the laws that govern it is wrong. The Eben doing the soul transfer from her diseased body to her new clone body in one of the lighted tubes gave Linda Porter an overview of how the cosmos is constructed from the Eben's point of view. The universe, she said, is built on sound patterns, which is why so many different world dimensions can exist in the same space. Each is on a different frequency. Disrupt a world dimension to the point that you destroy the carrier wave that it exists on, and you have created a hole in existence that cannot support the dimension above or below it. Each frequency, besides maintaining its own world dimension, also supports or holds in place the one above it and below it. Everything is interdependent. There are countless worlds dimensions occupying the same space without being aware of one another because of having their own individual octaves. The octave frequency holds the world dimension in place and causes it to exist safely without interfering with or even being aware of other worlds around it. This frequency acts as a buffer zone to keep everything in its place. You do anything to disrupt it and you begin a collapse that starts a deadly chain reaction. If the density of this collapse reaches a certain weight, space-time itself begins to collapse. Atomic and hydrogen bombs physically tear into other dimensions. And whatever the experiment is that our government in the United States is involved with in outer space, if successful, it will change the density of matter to such an extent that the chain reaction started will not be able to be stopped by anybody in any world or dimension. Linda Porter said there are literally hundreds of different alien life forms here trying to stop what is happening as it is putting their own worlds at risk. Some, as I had mentioned in earlier letters, are not supposed to be interfering, but are doing so anyway. What they are all trying to do is stop a ripple effect that will emanate outward from Earth should this government experiment succeed. With all their technology, why don't the aliens or their superiors just walk in and stop the whole thing themselves? Why do they need us abductees to speak for them 